Okay, welcome to the Hoover's History. Let's go ahead and start out with that. Uh, these are going to be small snippets that are going to be utilized throughout the year. Um, some are going to be written, uh, but the majority are going to be like an oral discussion is what I want to do. And uh, I'm using, I'm going to give this book credit. I'm using this book right here, uh, which is U.S. History Warm-Up Activities. This is called The Daily Spark, 100 Easy-to-Use Lessons and Class Activities. And let's see, who, who actually put this on here is going to be uh, Spark Publishing. So I want to go ahead and give them credit and for for their work uh i don't always stick with the actual uh just using uh, the questions i go a lot deeper um not all the time but a lot of the time so and you, you can kind of see my notes here within this i i go ahead and do a lot more research than than what is actually in the book so but it's a good good way to start i think the class and that's what I'm finding out. So that's what we're going to do. And um, I'm not going to be in the classroom. You're going to see me in, well, this kind of atmosphere, either in the garage. Um, this is really not my shop. Um, it kind of is when, when it's summertime because a lot of the work uh, I, that I do, which is going to be using stains, polyurethanes, anything that's got a, um, a uh, fume to it because downstairs it do doesn't get along too well with the furnace, okay? That's an open flame. So I found out it's got a safety switch. So I've, I've already shut down the, the heat before. Um, that was in the winter time. So um, I do have a shop downstairs in the basement, uh, like I said, uh, because of the furnace. And that, that has a band saw, a, my chop saw, which is a miter saw. Um, what else is down there? Uh, two drill presses and a router table and a table saw and a bench. So there's quite a bit down there and in this small dust collector. So I got that going on. So, there, you know, this, this, there's, you know, not a whole lot. There's a couple of like footages that to where there's like, I guess a bloopers page, but there's, hi, how you doing? Um, our, our neighbor just waved. So yeah, stuff like that, it, this is all live, uh, what's going on. So um, that's what we're gonna be doing. And I just wanna give this credit. And the first one uh, that we're gonna go over is going to be um, Discovering America. Now I do have one of these that I already did and I, I wasn't too thrilled with how it turned out. So. Uh, I might show it to you, I might not, but we'll just see where it goes. So, And my, my goal is to eventually put this like on YouTube. But this is a 360 degree video. I've, and this is the first 360 degree video I've done. But, uh, so, there we go. So, Discovering America, Christopher Columbus. We already know this guy. We know how it goes. Um, 1492, he sails the ocean blue. And that kind of thing. So Christopher Columbus is obviously he's given credit uh, for discovering uh, America, although uh, the, the land he discovered was already inhabited. Uh, now he they said he discovered America. Uh, well, there, there's actually um, there's actually a uh, this came up in the summertime. There's a group of little elementary kids. I think they were second or third grade. Might have been second grade that actually there was a, a, a mistake in their textbook. I don't know if the mistake was that Christopher Columbus actually discovered America because that could be argued and we're gonna go over that uh, again. So that kind of goes against what, what's in here as well. So what I want you to do is use your imagination and <clears throat> imagination and usually middle schoolers are really good with utilizing their imagination. So imagine that you are one of the Native Americans uh, who was living in North America when Christopher Columbus arrived. Okay, so now you're a Native American. Uh, you later learn that he has taken credit for the, again, discovery, it's in quotes, 
of your home. What I want you to do, now it says to write a response uh, to his claim, or we could talk about his claim, because you are, the word native is more important, I guess, than, than the America part, but, you're, but it goes, I guess it would coincide. Um, native, you are there. Uh, prior to him, because uh, well, we can take a look at him real fast with with his history. One, I wonder, I wonder if you even know the nationality of Christopher Columbus. That be a good question to start off with. His nationality uh, was he French? Was he uh, Spanish? Was he Italian? Uh, was he German? Was he uh, Portuguese? What was his actual nationality? Then I would like to know who he sailed for, and you should know that. And uh, the king and queen, uh, I'd like to know that. I know there's a lot of stuff I'd like for you to know. And then uh, can you throw in, like, I don't know, how many voyages he had? Um, what happened to him after his last voyage? There's all kinds of cool stuff about uh, Christopher Columbus. But I'm not a big fan of uh, Christopher Columbus, and I'll probably tell you in class why. So this is what I want you to do. Native American, that's you. Um, give me uh, how you would actually... Um, he made a claim that, that, that he founded America, but you're already there. So what would you say to Christopher um, if you were... Um, had the chance. So that's what I want you to do. And that's what we're going to be doing throughout these uh, 180, um, um, well, I, I call them um, little snippets, uh, but uh, uh, the, the Hoover's history, okay? Uh, so we won't, we won't, and I say uh a lot, so I, I have to get rid of that habit. We all have habits, and that's one I have, and I'm going to try to get rid of it. But what we need to do is is go ahead and look at the facts and do our research. That's the important part about this, is go deeper in history so we understand more about the history of our great nation that we live in, which is the most important history you need to know. And um, to see me in, in my actual um, realm, sort of, sort of uh, messy, like, shop out here, uh, but uh, downstairs as well. And what I do, so it's speaking of which, I know this is going kind of long, but, uh, well, I'll probably just say this for next time. But anyhow, uh, yeah, you're going to see some stuff here. But this is a jig that I'm, uh, I just got done finishing. And it's a jig for making American flags out of um, pine. And obviously you have 13 strips for the 13 stripes of pine. So we're going to get through that process, I'm sure, and some other of these uh, little snippets of Hoover's history. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I always wrap this up with, I hope you have a wonderful day. Like, I hope I will have a wonderful day. And see if I can shut this off. Maybe, maybe not. <coughs> oh, it's not connected. All right. I think we, we actually got a good thing there, I don't know.